It's Bonnie Happy Tuesday. I am back. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think the heat is affecting my brain because thank you to everyone who caught this. In my last video, I wrote cotton candle clouds instead of cotton candy clouds. I get candles on the brain, you guys. Candles on the brain. <laughs> so um, yes, Bath and Body Works candles for some annual sale. Friday night, early release online. We're going to see what they have. But right now, I got to talk about the 90s flashback. So, um, 1990, 90, I, it's, it's easy when you're born in 1970, because I turned 20 in 1990. And then um, I was basically in my 20s for the entire 90s. Um, 90s were an interesting kind of transition, because I was out of high school, I was in college. And, um, you know, Seattle Sound was starting up. All the 80s stuff was kind of fading away a little bit. Um, you know, we had Alanis Morissette. We had Nirvana. Um, it was an interesting time for music. Um, and Bath and Body Works uh, came into existence, which was, of course, exciting. So I'm loving uh, these flashbacks. Um Cucumber Melon, of course, 25th, 25th anniversary of Cucumber Melon. When did Cucumber Melon come out? Let's do the math. Boy, am I feeling old. Um, 2023 minus 25. So apparently uh, Cucumber Melon must have come out in 1998. I was 28. Yeah, that was the year... Uh, that was the year I met my husband, I think. No, I met him in 99. 99. <laughs> 1999. <laughs> Does anyone remember, like, the millennial thing, you know, when everyone was, like, year 2000? Yeah. Uh, those of us who are a little bit older do remember um, New Year's Eve party, 1999. I remember we were with our friends. It was a fun time that year. But Cucumber Melon came out in 1998. I don't even think I liked it then. Honestly, I don't. But it's back. I'm going to get it. 25th anniversary uh, packaging. It looks kind of like this. So we also have White Teen Ginger, which I need to review. I already reviewed Plumeria. I got to say, Plumeria smells amazing. It is strong. These uh, flashback fragrances, I think everyone are going to like. Um, everyone's going to like. I just said that weird. <laughs> everyone going to like <laughs> Um, these are going to be $3.95. That's what they're saying for some annual sale. That's a really good deal. Shower gel, cream, lotion, and mist. And then right now I'm going to talk about Juniper Freeze. So I'm going to put a screenshot up right here. Um, this was the last packaging that I remember from Juniper Breeze. It was just kind of a plain blue. I think that was from some annual sale one year. Um, so we're going to talk about Juniper Breeze. Um, this one is Juniper Leaves, Green Apple, Blue Jasmine, Fresh Woods, and Dewy Musk. And I gotta say, it's another winner. If you like florals, you're going to be so happy uh, with this collection. One thing I gotta say about semi-annual sale right now is I think there's a really nice balance between um, the foodie scents and the florals, which I think is nice because not everyone likes florals, not everyone likes foodie. I mean, if you like the foodie scents, you're going to want to focus on um, the sherbet and the milkshake. Um, and of course, like the groovy watermelon, if you want the floral, um, this 90s collection is actually wonderful. So this one is a very, it's a little bit powdery. Um, it's a little bit... Uh, I think it is like a cousin to Moonlit Path. And it's funny because I looked up all of the Bath and Body Works scents uh, with jasmine in them, which happens to be uh, one of my mother's favorite scents. And um, yeah, I pretty much have Japanese Cherry Blossom, Moonlit Path, Pretty as a Peach, believe it or not, Hello Beautiful, Fiji Sunshine, Pure Wonder, and believe it or not, Warm Vanilla Sugar has jasmine in it. Uh, Fiji Sunshine is sun-kissed guava, fresh orange, and seaside jasmine. There's a little seaside jasmine in there. And then, believe it or not, warm vanilla sugar has got um, fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood. So jasmine, I think, is a really nice floral scent that a lot of you know companies use because I think it's strong. And a lot of people like jasmine. I don't like jasmine alone, but um, I don't know. I got to say, it's not bad in this one. 
Um, I do smell like the green apple and the dewy musk. There is a little bit of a, like a deep scent in this one. A little bit powdery. The apple makes it sweet. I like this one better than, remember tie-dye uh, that came out actually uh, with Cotton Candy Clouds? Uh, it was called Pink Tie-Dye, but I believe it was more like of a, a pink apple punch. I did not like that one at all. This is a much nicer summer apple, not a fall apple. This has no fall. It's not a pumpkin apple, um, but it's a nice kind of fresh like summer apple. Uh, juniper leaves, yeah, maybe a little juniper leaves in there. It's just a beautiful floral, but it's not as sweet as Plumeria. So if you want like a really um, sweeter fruity scent, go with Plumeria. If you're looking for more like a bit, like a sophisticated, powdery, summery evening scent, um, ooh, mysterious with the jasmine in it, I would go with Juniper Breeze. Uh, this is a good one though, Fresh Woods. Um, gives it that little bit of maybe an August vibe. You could use this one in August or the fall. So I know a lot of people are excited about these scents coming back. I still have to talk about white tea and ginger next, but these have got some staying power. I gotta say, I'm really impressed. Like, um, you can, you can smell you coming here. <laughs> you spray this on. Everyone around you is going to be experiencing um, these wonderful, joyful scents. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm excited to get my hands on... I actually want to get the cream on here. I have a few people I want to gift these collections off to. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.